Hi everyone, me again. Welcome back to X Media Rex and my birthday haul video. So those of you who follow me on my blog, which is xmediarex.com, or on Instagram or Twitter at xmediarex, will know that it was my birthday, not last weekend, the weekend before, and I turned the grand old age of 26. So loads of you tweeted me, left me lovely comments, sent me messages, everything on my birthday. So thank you so much for that. It was really, really nice to sit and read them and it made me feel very, very special. Um, but lots of you also asked to see what I got for my birthday. So here we are, we're doing a birthday haul and I'm going to run through all my presents. Now I don't know how it's happened but I've managed to get myself poorly yet again. I think probably the last three videos that I've filmed I've been ill so it just looks like I've been poorly for about a month um, but no it's a different cold this time but yeah I'm just all snotty and achy and horrible all over again and I don't know why I keep getting ill. I'm very very healthy, I've got all my vitamins and everything um, but yeah here we are snotty again so I do apologise if I sound a little bit unhealthy but there we go. So my birthday was actually a couple of weekends ago, it was um, not last weekend, the weekend before it was actually on a Friday, so um, after work I went out with my mum and my dad and Joe, my boyfriend, and um, we went for a lovely meal at one of my favourite restaurants, drank lots of wine, ate some amazing food and just sort of caught up with each other and got to spend some time together which was really nice because we are all so busy, um, me and my mum and dad, that we kind of, even though we live in the same house, we kind of just miss each other all the time, so it was really nice to sit down and have a chat and sort of catch up and spend some quality time together. Um, and then on the Saturday, uh, Joe took me shopping to spend some of my birthday money, which which was really really nice, sort of had a leisurely meander around uh, and then he took me for afternoon tea on Sunday so it was all very nice and chilled um, and then last weekend where we went to London, those of you who watched my Christmas haul will remember that Joe got me tickets to go and see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory uh, for Christmas and I couldn't wait to go and see it but I thought it seems ages away but it's come round so quickly and so last weekend we went to London uh, to go and watch that and I did do a bit of vlogging um, but we had so much on because uh, Joe had planned all these little surprises that um, I was just kind of in the moment and enjoying things and then afterwards I was like oh no I didn't film anything there so I might try and piece a few things together to see if we've got a salvageable vlog from there but um, I don't know what it's going to turn out like but yeah so we went to London on the Saturday and Joe had booked a surprise lunch at the ice bar in London which I'd never been to before um, I was really excited and we had lunch and champagne in the uh, below zero restaurant downstairs which was gorgeous like really kind of like posh uh, English slash French food it was really nice um, and then we went upstairs into the ice bar uh, for cocktails at minus five degrees and it was really really chilly but they give you these um, gigantic furry ponchos to wear uh, and it was such a great experience and even the drink uh, even the glasses that you drink out of are made of ice Oh, it's just incredible. You should go and check out my Instagram, actually, um, at xmediarex. You can see all the pictures that I took when I was out in London. Um, and I've also written a blog post about it, so I'll link that below if you want to see all the pictures and read about what we did. Um, so, yeah, we went there, and then we checked into our hotel, which we stopped at the um, Jamira Carlton Hotel, because uh, I, I won a free night stay there at Christmas, I think, and I was like, oh, can I take it for my birthday, because I'm coming in May, and they were like, yeah, that's fine. I didn't th really think much of it, turned up and it's just this incredible hotel. I've never stopped anywhere like it before. There was fresh flowers all in the reception that smelled incredible and then there was a harpist just sat there playing the harp in the middle of reception and we got there and we'd been upgraded to one of their city view suites and it was stunning. It had two hallways, two doors to get into the room at either side, at either end of the room. It had a, a lounge area that was bigger than my actual lounge at home, flat screens in every corner of the room, loads of mirrors, like super fancy coffee machines, a gigantic queen size bed, a beautiful tiled bathroom with Wren toiletries, I nearly died and went to heaven, and oh it was just absolutely incredible, and then we had a knock on the door and the manager had sent up champagne and fresh fruit and a little birthday card to say happy birthday so it was amazing and I just totally didn't expect any of it um, so uh, yeah it was just it was the best experience ever and we really didn't want to leave the hotel room once we'd actually got there <laughs> but obviously we had to go and see Charlie what a shame um, so we tottled out went to Covent Garden um, to Drury Lane to go and see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory which was incredible I'd read a few mixed reviews about it online so I kind of really wasn't expecting a great show but I was kind of ever so expecting a good show um, but it turned out to be 
amazing like I would definitely 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 go and watch it if you get the chance it was incredible um, and then we just kind of had a few drinks in Covent Garden and then on the Sunday um, we got up and we were having a wander around Harrods and Joe whisked me into the champagne bar and he booked a table for us so we sat and we had some champagne in Harrods uh, champagne bar and it was amazing it was a perfect little surprise for me um, and then we went to the Oxford Street Primark and did lots and lots of shopping so there will be a haul coming your way soon um, because I spent quite a lot of money but that was about it then we sort of just came home and then chilled for the rest of the evening and it was just it was the most perfect weekend ever so I kind of dragged my birthday out for two weekends um, but I think that's the way it should be a lot of rambling now I'm sorry you guys are here to see the haul so this is what I got for my birthday now I started off by opening the presents from mum and dad and their main present to me is something that I can't really show you um, they got me four months membership to um, my gym that I was a member of last year but I had to stop around Christmas time because uh, they put the prices up and it was just silly money because it's such a such a nice gym it's like a country club kind of place and um, it's really lovely but um, it was too rich for my boots is that the saying? I don't think that's the saying um, but yeah so I had to stop going so they bought me four months membership so over the summer I can go back to the gym which I already have started doing um, and I'm absolutely loving it so that's probably one of the best presents they could have got me um, and they're on the cross trainer every night, sort of sweating away in the in the steam room and in the pool, and oh, it's just the best present ever. So that was my main present from mum and dad. Well then mum being mum could not just leave it there and she had to get me a few little extras one of which was this lovely little scarf from uh, Marks and Spencers I think it was she does love Marks and Spencers, mother does um, but it's really cute, it's kind of like a lightweight scarf perfect for summer I think I might take it on holiday with me just to sort of wrap around in the evenings um, but it's got this beautiful pattern all over it like butterfly pattern and then tassels on the end it's kind of asymmetric, it's a bit strange but um, I really like it and I think it's just perfect just to kind of throw around for the summer months when you don't want anything too heavy and she also got me this adorable necklace again from uh, Marks and Spencers and it's kind of like this tribal uh, costume jewellery necklace but it weighs a ton it's good quality stuff um, and it's kind of gold and silver with tribal patterns in the middle and I absolutely love it it's right up my street um, and she, as soon as I opened it she was like I've got the receipt don't worry I've got the receipt <laughs> expecting me to go oh that's awful not that I ever would obviously um, but no I really like it so she did very very well and she also got me some other bits and bobs like uh, boxes of chocolates and Percy Pigs which are my favourite 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 sweets she did actually get me a couple of packets of these but I'm afraid this is the only one that's left um, and the box of chocolates they disappeared as well and last but not least is possibly my favourite present actually from my mum and dad. Um, my mum is a fantastic seamstress. She used to make um, wedding dresses on the side as kind of like a hobby thing. How can you make a wedding dress as a hobby? Oh, she's incredible. Um, and she tried to teach me when I was a bit younger but I was a teenager and I was like, boo, sewing's not cool, I'm not interested, thank you. Um, but now obviously I'm a little bit older, I love my crochet, my knitting, I love just creating stuff in general and I'm really gutted that I never actually got to learn so one of my presents is mum is going to teach me how to sew and I'm really excited we got this pattern it's this beautiful 1940s dress um, I think I must have picked the hardest dress ever because she looked at it and she was like yeah you're going to learn quite a lot from that and it might take a while <laughs> um, but yeah so we've got this lovely pattern and we're going to make a dress and uh, she picked me out some material for it which is this lovely baby blue polka dot material so we're going to make this dress in this material and it could take quite a long time um, but I am I just I can't wait so I think this is probably one of the best presents um, I've got from mum and dad because like I mentioned earlier we don't really get a lot of time to spend together um, we just, it's just not something that we do as a family so it would be really nice to sit down with mum even if it's just one night a week for a couple of hours and make something together and uh, do something creative and just have some proper mummy daughter bonding time so that is kind of a present that money can't buy so yeah I'm, I'm so excited so I'm sure once it's done I will uh, be wearing this in a video or I will pop up a blog post with me wearing it because I'm sure even if it's very wonky <laughs> I'll be really really proud of it um, so yeah I can't wait to get started with that 
Presents from the people then. Um, Beth, we, Beth and I exchanged presents a little bit before our birthdays because Beth's birthday is the day after mine. Um, so I got her loads of stuff. She's starting a, uh, a new placement. So I got her loads of things and called it a placement survival guide um, just to help her get through little beauty bits and bobs that she can pop in a handbag and little things to pamper herself with and all stuff like that. And she got me a cocktail making kit, which is amazing. But I've taken it to Joe's house because we were testing it out the other weekend and I'm happy to report it works very very well so we've got some lovely martini glasses um, and uh, some what are they called Am amastora bitters those things that are always in cocktails that you never have in the cupboard um, and we've actually used them already and they're really really tasty um, and what else did they get oh a cocktail shaker and uh, a grow your own cocktail herb kit which is very strange but it's got things like uh, mint and uh, those strange flowers that they always pop on the top that look very pretty but obviously you would never have that in the house so I'm gonna get my fingers all green and start growing those and she also um, drew me a big picture of a camera which is really really cute but again I've taken that uh, to Joe's and we've got, we're gonna pop it up somewhere on the wall I think and um, because I have absolutely no room in my room to put it up anywhere because um, mum and dad are a little bit funny and they won't let me put stuff on the wall otherwise I would have it right there but they won't let me so yeah, that's what I got from Beth. From other friends, I got champagne and Prosecco. The bottle of Prosecco has, funnily enough, like the chocolate, strangely disappeared. I don't know where it's gone. Um, but yes, so they know the best way to my heart, alcohol fizzy alcohol. And off Joe's mum and dad I got the most adorable present uh, and it was a voucher for afternoon tea at one of my favourite little cafes and it came with a card that looks like this, it's a 3D afternoon tea card and it was a very very thoughtful gift so I think we're going to book in for that um, the weekend before we go on holiday and just have a little treat of an afternoon, We can it's a champagne afternoon tea and it's really really good it's one of those that's so big um, that you just can't finish it and you have to end up sneaking cake home with you but yeah that was a really pretty present as well I very much enjoyed that. And on to Joe himself who did very very well in the present department I have to say. First of all he got me one of my absolute favourite perfumes which is Givenchy Angel or Demon. I have been running out of this perfume for ages and because I've had a few other newer ones I've not been using this one just in case it runs out because it's honestly one of my favourite perfumes. Um, so because I, it's nearly been run out, I haven't been using it. So I'm so pleased to have another bottle of this and it's a gigantic one at that. So I can start using it again. I'm really, really enjoying it. So that was a very thoughtful present. And I didn't even ask for it. I didn't even tell him that I was running out. He must just have spotted it and thought, that's a really good present. So well done you, Joe. Another present was a giant Yankee candle in my favourite, favourite, favourite scent, Soft Blanket which I can't actually smell now because I'm all bunged up but I have had a little version of this for ages and it ran out recently I was very very sad because I like to burn it in my room because it's kind of one of those candles and I've said it before and I'll say it again it's one of those candles that kind of doesn't smell like there's a candle on it just gives your room this beautiful aroma that you can't really put your finger on it just smells like from memory it smells like a duvet day it's amazing so I was very very happy to have a giant version of this and I can burn it until my heart's content I not have to worry about it running out so that's amazing a bottle of Lanson, one of my favourite champagnes, um, a very very good present, always going to be a winner. Um, I think we're going to have this, we're going to open this the night before we go on holiday as a little celebration and start to the holiday um, because yes, it's just wonderful. He also bought me a, a little half bottle of Moe as well to drink before we went out for our meal which was very thoughtful. He'd even chilled it and brought glasses along to the hotel room and everything, absolutely adorable. Well, this present's going to sound a little bit strange but it's one that I actually asked for. It's not very girly at all. But but it's a little um, Swiss army knife but it's a very very tiny teeny tiny one look it's so small and you can put you pop it on your keys and all it has in it is if I can get it out a pair of scissors uh, a little uh, a little knife and um, a little nail file with a screwdriver head now this seems oh actually oh hang on a minute it's got a toothpick and a pair of tweezers in, aren't they fantastic? Wow, okay, well the, to be honest, the whole reason why I asked for this was just for this little pair of scissors, because my mum has had one of these on her key rings for as long as I can remember, and all the time when I'm out, I think, oh, I could really do with a pair of scissors. You know, like if you go away and you've bought new clothes with you, and they've got those tags on that are just impossible to break off, you need a pair of scissors. Or the other day I was opening a parcel that I picked up from the uh, post office, and I nearly broke one of my keys, ramming it in and trying to get it. Could have used the little knife on here and there's just so many little uses for this amazing 
piece of kit um, and he got me a cute little black, because you can get them in all different colours I didn't realise, he got me a cute little black one and he's personalised it and put X Amelia X on there so everybody knows it's mine. Um, but I know that's a really weird present but it's actually probably one of the most useful presents I've ever got so that is awesome. The thing Joe got me was a calorie counter watch which I wanted for absolutely ages but again I've not been very prepared for this video and I've left it at his as well um, but it's basically just a little band that goes round and it tells you how much you're moving throughout the day, it tracks your um, tracks the movement that you're doing and also it tracks your heart rate um, so it will work out all the calories that you are using when you work out and it's something that I've wanted for absolutely ages um, and I'm definitely going to be using the hell out of it when I actually remember to bring it home <laughs> but um, I might do a blog post on that because I think it's going to be quite interesting to use and I'm also tempted to get um, a proper heart rate monitor, the ones that you strap around yourself so you get a proper accurate reading because I, I do all my kickboxing and obviously I go to the gym as well but the gym machines, they tell you how many calories you burn but I never know how accurate it is and I'm absolutely fascinated to find out how many calories are actually burn in a kickboxing lesson as well because apparently some people say that you can burn up to 800 calories whether that's true or not I don't know obviously it depends on how hard you're working how big you are how fit you are etc etc so um, I really can't wait to start using that so keep an eye out on the blog um, and there'll probably be a review of that coming very soon and last but not least my main present from Joe was again something that I can't show you um, but he has booked me in for a luxury spa day on the weekend before we go on holiday um, to get pampered ready for holiday and it's such a lovely present because I do love going to spas so he's booked me in for a luxury pedicure with like a massage and hot booties and everything like that so my toes will be nice and sparkly ready for the flip flop weather um, and also he's booked me in for some gel nails now I don't normally have gel nails on um, because they can suffocate your nails if you wear them all the time but for special occasions they're really nice and obviously it means I can go in and out the pool and my nails won't get wrecked for the whole day oh and I'm also having my eyelashes tinted so it looks like I'm constantly wearing mascara which is obviously going to be excellent for around the pool when you don't want to be wearing mascara and have it dripping down your face um, <laughs> and all of that of course comes with a lovely glass of champagne too so I'm really really looking forward to that in a couple of weeks time um, yeah and that was just the, the most perfect present for me ever so that's it guys, they're all the presents that I got for my birthday. I've been absolutely spoilt rotten this year and I was made to feel very, very, very special so I'm incredibly grateful for that. But don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed watching and uh, subscribe if you are new and leave me a comment below, let me know what you think the most thoughtful present I got for my birthday was. Um, and don't forget to share the video as well, click the share button, share it on Facebook or on Twitter or whatever and let's grow our little YouTube family. Um, but until next time, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will We'll see you again soon.